And before we get into that merger and an update of that merger, why don't you give us some information uh, so that our audience might understand exactly who, uh, the population that Metro General serves and uh, the importance and the influence of that institution. Yeah, I, that's very important. And let me, let me go back for just a minute to 1948. Um, in 1948, uh, Meharry, um, Hubbard Hospital was, as now, serving a large percentage of poor patients. It's always been located, as you know, in the inner city. Uh, the majority of its patients have always been black and poor. In 1948, the number and percentage of patients at Hubbard Hospital who couldn't pay for their care mm -hmm. was so great until it created such a financial burden for Meharry that the board voted to close Hubbard Hospital. Uh, the next day, the city council came into emergency session and and, and out of concern for the closing of Hubbard Hospital. And they passed a resolution saying that Meharry Hubbard Hospital was so important to this community mm -hmm. in taking care of indigent patients that it asked the Board of Trustees of Meharry not to close it and promised mm -hmm. in 1948 mm -hmm. that if, if, if Meharry kept Hubbard Hospital open, the city would reimburse mm -hmm. Meharry for the care of indigent patients. Mm -hmm. Now, Nashville General Hospital, which has been there since the early 1920s, mm -hmm. was the city's hospital for indigent care. Mm -hmm. But such a large percentage of indigent patients were mm -hmm. taken care of by Hubbard until the city council asked that it not be closed mm -hmm. and said the city would reimburse Meharry. Mm -hmm. The city has never fully lived up to that commitment. Now, there have been years, like the early 1970s, when the city has reimbursed Meharry for almost one-third of the indigent care mm -hmm. provided. But other years, like the last three years, when it has provided no mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. So with all of that background, uh, you know, you look at General Hospital, it's uh, uh, it's an old, dilapidated facility. Mm -hmm. Even in the early 70s, they were talking about the need to rebuild it. Mm -hmm. And they estimated then that it would cost $40 million to rebuild. Mm -hmm. We estimate today that it would cost easily 80 to $100 million mm -hmm. to rebuild General Hospital. So we thought, just logically speaking, you know, Meharry has a very modern facility, completed in the late 80s, mm -hmm. over 400 beds. Uh, it's not fully utilized. Mm -hmm. uh, it provides care to the energy, just as General does. So we proposed in the late 1988 uh, that the city, as opposed to rebuilding General Hospital at a cost of almost $100 million, close that facility mm -hmm. and provide all of this indigent care through Meharry Hubbard. It would save the city the cost of rebuilding General. Uh, it would provide more services. Meharry has in family medicine and preventive medicine that General, General does not have. Uh, Meharry has mental health care that General does not have. Meharry has dentistry. Mm -hmm. General does not have any of those things. And all of those are needed in the healthcare system. So it would give a building that's very modern. It would give services that are not there. And we found out later, because we didn't know this when we first made the proposal, we found out that it would also save in the cost of operation. It and really so would be cheaper to operate. So it, it, uh, the merger would make sense in a real uh, sense. Well, now, uh, let's talk mm -hmm. about the introduction and some of the early opposition to that merger. And, and, and why do you think that... Uh, uh, in view of uh, all of the positive things that could come out of this merger, why do you think that some of the people are in opposition to it? And, and what were some of the, uh, your experiences before uh, the recent update yeah. that we want you to give us? Well, uh, let, me, let me say this. We, we first announced the, the proposal at a Rotary Club meeting in, in November of 1988. I think about that because I, I was just at the Rotary Club yesterday. Um, we thought that was a good set, and the business leaders in the community were there, the press was there. And we decided to announce at that setting that we were going to introduce this merger. And we explained the history that I just mm -hmm. gave you and other things as to why we were doing it. Um, we knew that there would be problems, and because and there are a lot of barriers. There are social economic barriers. Mm 